Hey guys, this is your workout demo for Friday. Um, just a quick reminder before we get into it, we are reopening uh, classes outdoors starting on Monday the 1st, all right? Uh, we do have our schedule up online uh, now, so if you go to either our schedule on the website or go directly through Pike 13, you should be able to start reserving your spot in classes. Um, and the full schedule is there, including our evening ROMWAD, virtual ROMWAD times, as well as our virtual classes. Um, but then the back alley wads will be there as well. So just a reminder too that it's 10 person uh, cap on each of the classes so we can only allow 10 people in. Um, the class is an hour and then we'll have a 15 minute transition. Uh, if you have any questions about kind of our class procedures and um, sanitation and what we're gonna be doing to make sure everything stays clean uh, and transition people in and out, please definitely check out our Sugar Wad page. Um, I also sent an email out earlier this week and then we posted to our Facebook page as well. But uh, all the information is posted on Sugar Wad uh, for you to review as well. And if you have questions, be sure to shoot me a note. But anyways, getting into our workout, um, we're gonna start with our warm up, 200 meter run. So 30 second jog out, 30 second jog back in if you don't have a 200 meter run mapped out. All right, and then we're gonna go right into 10 push ups to down dog. All right, so push up, chest touches the floor, and then we're gonna come up to a down dog position, all right, for a set of 10. All right, from there, we're gonna go to the knees and we're gonna do 10. Uh, kneeling shoulder taps, right? So from here, we're just gonna come out and we're just gonna turn, drop the chest down, tap the shoulder to the floor, and then go to the other side for a nice little shoulder stretch, right? So you'll do 10 of these total on each side. And then from there, we're gonna go to 10 inchworms into an arm stretch, right? So straight leg walk out to our plank position, and then we're gonna raise the arm up on both sides, and then walk back up to a standing position, all right? Then from there, we're gonna grab a band or you can use a dumbbell if you'd like. And we're gonna step into that band. We'll do 10 banded, good morning. So band is around our neck, slight bend of the knees. And then we're just unhinging at the hips, all right? Standing back up, all right? So 10 good mornings. Then we're gonna bring the band around to the front. We'll do 10 banded press overhead. Then we're gonna go a little bit wider with our stance and we're gonna go into 10 overhead squats. So we'll open that band up, chest is up. We'll send those hips back and down, balancing that band over our head, all right? If that is too much for you to be in that position, we can step out of the band and then we'll just have the band overhead. We're pulling the band apart as we come down into our overhead squat, okay? And then from there, we're gonna do 10 banded pull apart. So we're just pulling that band across our chest, all right, for a set of 10. All right, we will go through this warm up twice. So one 200 meter run, and then you'll repeat all of this for two rounds, all right? So 10 uh, push ups to down dog, 10 shoulder taps on each side, 10 inchworms with the arm raises. Then we're gonna go to the band, 10 banded good mornings, 10 banded strict press, 10 banded overhead squats and then 10 banded pull-aparts across the chest, all right? For our strength work, we're gonna be working bench press, all right? So if you have a barbell, it's gonna be five sets of three at 70%, all right? So you'll do a set of three at 70 across all five sets. Make sure we're resting in between. For the bench press, when we get to the chest, we're gonna pause for one second in the bottom position of our bench press, and I'll show that to you in a second, all right? If you do not have a barbell, then we're gonna go to dumbbell or kettlebell bench press. All right, so three sets of 12 of the dumbbell bench. All right, and then we're gonna superset that with three sets of 12 of dumbbell death march, which we'll go over as well. If you don't have a bench, we'll go to the floor and do floor press instead. All right, so these are our options. Set of two. 
All right, hold here for a second and then press up and then hold again for one second. All right, set of three and then we'll do five sets total. All right, so set of three, pausing for one second in the bottom position and then uh, four more sets just like that. All right, 70% across. If you do not have a barbell, then we're going to go to dumbbell French press. All right, you'll do a set of 12, and then we're going to go right into the death march. So for those, You're gonna take your dumbbells. You're just gonna kind of stagger step. We're gonna come down and tap and then alternate. All right, so it'll end up being six each side or 12 total. So that will be our strength work for Friday. All right, so bench press. If you don't have the barbell, then we're doing three sets of 12 of dumbbell bench press followed by three sets of 12 of the dumbbell death march. All right, then our workout, we're gonna be doing a 20 minute EMOM. All right, each minute, we're gonna have four movements. Each minute will be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds to rest and transition to the next movement, okay? The first minute is going to be dumbbell deadlifts. So whatever dev, uh, dumbbells you have, if you don't have dumbbells, kettlebells, jugs of fluid, weighted backpacks, whatever works, um, that's fine. All right, so you'll move for 40 seconds and then 20 seconds of rest. Then we're gonna go into uh, 40 seconds of deck squats, all right? These will be body weight. If you wanna have an advanced option, I'll show you a weighted option for these. All right, uh, but the body weight's totally fine. They'll be just as challenging. All right, third minute, we're gonna do um, single arm bent over rows, all right, with our dumbbells. And then our fourth minute, 40 seconds of handstand push-ups. All right, so let's just review the movements real quick. So our deadlift, standing with our feet just underneath our hips, All right, coming down, one head of the dumbbells touches, and then stand. All right, making sure our shoulders stay above our hips, nice strong back, nice neutral spine, all right? And then we're driving through the legs to stand fully opening the hips at the top, all right? If this position is hard for you to maintain, you find that your shoulders are dipping below the hips, all right? You can elevate the dumbbells, put a, a small step stool, some books, whatever you need so that you can elevate where the dumbbells are tapping, all right? So that's our dumb, uh, dumbbell deadlift, 40 seconds. 20 seconds to rest and transition. Then we're gonna go into deck squats. These are very similar to the candlestick rolls. A little bit different in that you're not elevating the legs as much as you would with the candlestick roll. All right, so we're gonna start in a standing position. Adjust my screen here. All right, so we're starting in a standing position. You're going to come down into a squat. We're going to come back down. We're going to roll down and let our shoulders touch the floor. And then we're going to come up into a squat position, bringing the feet together and then standing. All right, so very similar to that candlestick. All right, again, coming down into our squat, coming back onto the back, and then from here, we're rolling forward to a stand position, all right? You can use your hands at the sides if that is helpful. The goal with these is you wanna get the shoulders in front of the hips, all right? So we wanna create enough momentum that we can stand up. If the shoulders are behind, you're gonna have a harder time getting up, all right? If you would like to add a weighted element, we can grab a light dumbbell or a light kettlebell. If you're going for the kettlebell, I definitely encourage you to keep it light. It can be a little bit awkward. 
All right, so we're gonna hold that in a goblet squat stance. We're gonna come down into our squat. We're gonna come back, all right, nice and controlled. You're gonna let the dumbbell tap. And then from here, we're going to create a lot of momentum and stand, okay? Keeping it here at the chest. If you're using the kettlebell, you're gonna hold the handles here. The kettlebell will be below you, all right? Just make sure that when we're coming down, all right, it's nice and controlled back to the floor so we don't hit ourselves in the head with the kettlebell, all right? So again, that's only an advanced option. If you'd like to challenge yourself a little bit more, doing these just body weight is more than enough. Um, but if you want to play around with the weight a little bit, do so with a light weight. Make sure you're comfortable with the movement. It's really, again, about that sit up and using that momentum to drive the shoulders forward, all right? So if you stay too far back here, you're never gonna get the momentum to get back up, right? So coming down and then driving up to stand, okay? So those are our deck squats, all right? Then we're gonna go into single arm alternating bent over rows, all right? Feet are underneath our hips. We're hinging at the hips and then we're just driving the elbow up into straight up into the ceiling, all right? Keeping it nice and controlled. Dumbbell comes up into the chest, elbows go straight up, all right? We want to avoid turning or throwing our body into this movement. It should just be a nice and controlled bent over row alternating for 40 seconds, okay? Then we're gonna finish off 40 seconds, handstand push-ups. Find a place where you can do these. I'm actually not gonna demo these right now because our floor is completely wet back here, so we just got a big rainstorm. I will probably fall on my face. Anyways, if you don't have the ability to do handstand push-ups up against a wall, all right, then we're gonna do handstand push-ups um, off of a box or a bench, all right? So, you wanna basically get onto your box or bench, and then we are walking ourselves back until we are basically in a pike position. We're coming down and then pressing up tapping down and pressing up. All right, so that is a modification for the handstand push-up. Um, if you don't have the ability to do it on a wall or you're not quite ready for it, um, or we can just do regular push-ups, that's fine as well, all right? So dumbbell deadlifts, deck squats, add weight as an advanced option only, um, alternating dumbbell bent over row or substitute a kettlebell if you'd like, and then handstand push-ups to finish, all right? It's gonna be 20 minutes for movement, so it'll be five rounds total. 40 seconds of work for each minute, 20 seconds of rest, all right? Then, once we're done, you have the option. If you would like, uh, we're gonna be doing one of our five minute challenges, so you can do these later in the day, or if you wanna do it right after the workout. Five minute challenge of an AMRAP of grasshoppers, all right? So, in our plank position, with the grasshopper, all right, we're sliding the leg in and getting it as the shin as close to our forearm as possible, and then alternating, all right? Back and forth, sliding the leg through for a grasshopper, all right? You'll do as many of those as you can in five minutes. Throw that into a uh, sugar wad so you can see how you stacked up with everybody else. All right, just one of our five uh, weekly uh, five minute challenges, all right? After we're all done with that, you will finish with your core and accessory work, all right? It's gonna be three rounds of a Tabata, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Again, we've got four movements, all right? The first one will be 20 seconds of one leg V up. So, all right, so we're laying on our back, coming up, alternating the legs in between for 20 seconds, all right? You'll rest 10 seconds, then you're gonna roll over onto your back, and we're gonna do 20 seconds of Superman's. All right, so laying on our belly. All right, feet together, raising the arms up, bring them back, forward, back down. 
do that for 20 seconds, all right? Make sure we're keeping those feet together. Then you're gonna do 20 seconds of a plank on the left side, then 20 seconds plank on the right side, all right? That's one round. You will do two more rounds of that, three rounds total, all right? So you'll spend 60 seconds on each movement when everything's said and done. All right, so that is our workout for Friday. Um, again, Monday we kick off our classes. Again, our equipment return is gonna be tomorrow from four to six. We'll have another one on Sunday from uh, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., all right? So definitely be sure to get in, drop your equipment off so we can get back into running our classes. If you can, please make sure that your equipment has been sanitized so that our coaches who are receiving it aren't being put at any risk and then we will of course sanitize it again before it gets turned out for use on Monday. All right. Have a great day. Enjoy you guys weekend. See you later.